Problem 8. All of the triangles in the diagram below are similar to isosceles triangle ABC, in which AB is equal to AC. Each of the seven smallest triangles has area of 1, and ABC has an area of 40. What is the area of trapezoid DBCE? So before we even approach this, we are given a very, very special information, which is that the seven smallest triangles are, ha all have the same area. If two triangles have the same area, then they both have the same height and base. Right? So if that were to be the case, then let's say that this were to be x. Then this is also x and this is also x. Likewise, this is x, this is x, this is x, and this is also x. So we have derived a correspondence between the side lengths of two triangles because 3x compared to 4x can be reduced down into 3 to 4. So let's not draw the three x's here for complication. That's 3 and that's 4. Let's call this f, let's call this g. If we were to redraw this triangle, a a, D, E, and this were to be A, F, G, so that's A, that's F, that's G, and that's D, and that's E, the area of A, F, G over the area of A, D, E is equal to the square root, or rather, it's equal to 3 over 4 squared. Now, how do I know this? Because a basic um, geometry postulate states that the comparison of two similar sides squared will give the comparison of the two similar shapes area. In this case, the base of both triangles are given to us, and we know their ratio being 3 to 4, with 3 corresponding to the AFG side and 4 corresponding to the AFG, ADE side. But if we were to square it, that would give us the correspondence of the two triangles ratios. So in this case, if we were to simplify, this will be equal to 9 over 16. So we have the relationship between AFG and ADE, which is that AFG, the large, the, the small triangle, is 9 16th of the large triangle ADE. So if we set AFG's area to be equal to x, then that means ADE's area is just x plus 7, because each of the seven triangles have an area of 1. So x must be equal to 9 over 16 times x plus 7. Now, why is this important? The reason why this is important is because we're trying to solve for this shape. If we're to extend this, we're trying to find this trapezoid. So if we can somehow find this entire area above it and subtract it from the, the larger area of the entire shape, which is given to us to be 40, then we solve the question. So we solve for x and we're one step closer to the solution. In other words, x must be equal to 9 over 16x plus 63 over 16. Simplifying, 7x over 16 gives 63 over 16. Then that means x must therefore equal to 9. If x is equal to 9, then that means 9 plus 7 will be the area of, if I were to scroll up a little bit for the visual, that would be the area of this entire shape. Because x plus 7 is defined to be the, rate, the area of ADE given previously. So 9 plus 7 is 16. So 40 minus 16 would naturally give us the bottom trapezoid area, which is what we're trying to find, which if we were to simplify would give 24, bringing you to answer choice E.